Hello everyone and welcome back to Paint and Sip. Today we will be painting a little house, as you can see on the paper. Um, while we paint, I will be talking about the shapes that we use and we see um, to actually create the painting. So let's get started. So I kind of already have the, um, the outline of my house already drawn, but you can all join along with me um, as we go over the lines and we fill it all in. So I picked four colors for today that I was feeling. Um, and this is gonna be a funky colored house. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's start, when we make a house, I usually start with the box of the house, right? And that's actually a square, this really big, this is a shape right here, and this is a square. So we're gonna start with the square. And what color do I want my house to be? Purple's my favorite color, so let's do a purple house. Okay, so I'm just gonna go. And yeah, a square is four corners and it has four sides. So that's one, two, and then we're gonna go down, three, and four. One, whoop, kind of going over my lines here, that's okay. One, two, three, and four again. My paint doesn't want to go on the paper today. There we go. Kind of a messy square, but that's my square. So again, we have four sides. One, two, three, four, and four corners. One, two, three, four. So let's see if there's any more squares on the paper. Um, and I do see a couple. I see our windows are actually squares and we have four windows. So let's make my windows. I might change the color. I'm going to make my window squares this blue, this baby blue. So now again, I'm going to go and make my squares. So that's one. Two, three, and four. There we go, I got my first window. So let's go on to my second one. One, two, three, and four. My second square done, window square. Now we're gonna go to my next one. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three. And there we go. It's gonna go back over a few of them. Make it so you can see my windows a little bit more clearly. I got some big windows in my house. There we go. Really swish it to get that paint off. Okay, so there we go. I got my, the box of the house done. That's my first square. And then I got all my windows done, which are the other squares. And I'm not seeing any more squares. Now, something I do see that looks a lot like a square is the door here. And the door, we will make the door, let's make it orange. 
and you'll see that as I'm doing this, you're gonna notice something a little bit different about this shade than our windows and the house. What I'm noticing is that the shape's a little bit longer. It looks a little bit bigger than a square. And that's because this shape is called a rectangle. So again, just like a square, it has four sides and four corners, but it's a bit longer. It's kind of like a tall square in a way. So the door is a rectangle. Go over it so you can see it a little better. There we go. And then our other rectangle, rectangle is our chimney, which is right up here. I think we're gonna make our chimney orange as well. Why not? Ooh. The lines are really squiggly today. There we go, so there's my other rectangle. It's the chimney. Cool. So the last thing that we have yet to paint is our circles and our triangles. So a triangle you can actually is used for the roof of the house and we're gonna make our roof green. So we're gonna go up and a triangle has three sides instead of four. So it has three corners. So that's one, two sides. And the third side is actually gonna be the bottom here. Come on, green. <laughs> Here we go. Hopefully my sleeve isn't getting in the paint here. There we go. So there's our triangle. We can actually go ahead. I'm just gonna fill it right in. Why not? We can see it a little bit better. Wow, isn't that silly? A green roof. There we go. So I think that's it for triangles. We only have one triangle, which is the roof. But now we can move on to our circles, which is gonna be the doorknob of our door. And we're gonna make that one purple. We're gonna make a little circle with our paintbrush. The tiniest circle you've ever made. <laughs> there we go. And then we're gonna move on to our sun. And I don't have any yellow, but we can use orange here. That's okay. We'll have an orange sun. So again, I'm gonna make a circle. The circle actually doesn't have any sides. It's just round. So there is no sides or corners. Just one big loop that connects. Color in our sign, and then let's give it some little rays here. There we go. All right, and then now I'm just gonna kind of fill in the rest of my painting. Look 
gotta be tricky around these little things here. Here we go. And then we will, let's actually give our windows, we can make a little line in the middle. That makes it look more like a window to me. There we go. And then we will color in our house. So we're gonna go back to our purple. the fun part when you get to fill everything in and color and paint. Yeah, it's okay too if you go, you mix kind of your, what you painted. It's okay. It happens. See, I'm getting some orange and everything. That's okay. Probably should have painted this in first, but it's okay. We'll do things a little, a little different. There's that window. Here's that one. Let's get this one up top. Wow, this is one funky colored house, but I like it. Looks like a very fun house. Wash off our brush. So we're going in for another color. I think I'm gonna leave my windows, I think I'm gonna leave them white like that because it kind of looks like um, they're open. The, the windows are open because it's super sunny outside and beautiful. But yeah, friends, so we just created a house, which I'm sure you have painted many times before. Um, but now that you know that there are, what is it? There's three different shapes that are in building a house. So we have rectangles, we have big square, little squares, and we have a circle for the sun and a circle for a doorknob. That's really cool, friends. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next Friday. Bye.